So we're joined by two former Mayor Roses. Mindy, when did you win the Rose of Tralee? I won in 1998. Okay, and Maria, you won it in? 2014. And Mindy, how has life been since? Did it change your life at that time? Absolutely. I was in university at the time and I took a year out um, for my studies so that I could fully embrace myself in that year and it was the best thing that I ever did. Um, I availed of every opportunity and that came my way and it was absolutely a life-changing event. Um, and to this day, 18 years on, it's still very close to my heart and still very much part of my life. And you, Maria? Yeah, How did it change echo, your life? Yeah, I can echo everything Mindy had said. Um, for me, I, I kept my full-time job as much as I could in Philadelphia, um, and that's where I represented, but very much uh, tied to Mayo, because that's where, this is where I grew up. And yeah, I, I mean, overnight you become um, an international rose of Tralee, and you live and breathe the festival, and indeed you continue on long after you hand over the crown 12 months later, but uh, it's exceptional, and not just the international travel, but indeed like working with charities or visiting schools, particularly when you get to visit local schools. Um, you know, I, I got to visit True and that's life changing because you're going back to meet uh, people within your community. So for that, it was just a very pinch me moment all throughout the 12 months. Mindy, how do you think the festival has changed since the time you wanted to say now? Um, it certainly has evolved. It's become bigger. It's become better. Um, it's incorporating even more young ladies than it did 18 years ago. But in some ways, the core values of it are still very much the same. Um, it celebrates young women of Irish descent from all over the world. Um, it celebrates Irish culture, Irish tradition. So in some ways it's very much the same, but it, it has also moved with the times and has evolved. And Maria, going forward, how important do you think it is to keep embracing the Rose of Tralee as a festival? Yeah, I think there's no other festival like it. Um, the festival, you know, you see two nights on TV, um, anybody watching at home and over a million people tune in. but. In the Rose of Tralee itself encompasses over 200,000 people. This year it'll attract, um, it is bringing 68 roses and their families together, uh, which I think is the first year they've ever done that. Um, and I think for me, when, when I was involved in the festival in 2014, it was, it's very much about meeting the local people and, and celebrating such great history and culture. And, and as Mindy says, you know, you have an Irish, your th common thread is being Irish and being proud of that as a as a woman within within our diaspora uh, and it's very much needed there there's nothing else like it and and there's you know there's such a great space to celebrate you as a modern irish woman whatever that may look like and whatever you identify with very good well thank you both very much for joining me